the Himalayan region. This is the home of highest mountains on earth and beautiful landscapes. On the other side, this region is also known as the longest disputed boundaries on earth, dividing two big nations, India and China. In recent years, the disputes between these two most populated countries are getting bigger and bigger day by day. China placed its army and its S-400 defense system across the border, to which India responded and placed most of its army on Chinese border, making India's biggest defense shift. It's a historical move in India's defense history. So why did India shift its focus from Pakistan to China? Does China possess a bigger threat to India than Pakistan? What really happened? Why India has to do this? How this is all started in the first place? Welcome back to another Simplify video. In this, I explain Indo-Chinese border dispute. Let's start with the basics first. You might know the border between Pak occupied Kashmir and India is called line of control, LOC. The border between Chinese occupied Ladakh and India is called LAC, line of actual control. There are some critical differences between LOC and LAC. LOC is very clearly defined. Both Pakistan and India are aware of where the boundary line actually is. But the line of actual control, LAC, which is between India and China is not clearly defined, which makes both the countries India and China claim that LAC is at different places. Both countries have different perceptions about where the LAC actually lies. Due to this, there is an overlap in territory between them. As these are the boundaries, both the armies patrol here regularly. Clashes happen when they cross their borders during the patrol. But here's the interesting question. Of course, there are no actual demarcations to divide the land, but the two armies are patrolling here for a very long time. They must be pretty aware of the surroundings and their borders. But why the clash is still happening? Are they intentionally crossing the borders? Or this is happening purely by mistake? I'll be taking you to these dispute borders and explain what exactly happening here in a bit. Before I do that, let's go back in time and see how the dispute started. In the late 1940s, China communists overthrew the ruling government to form People's Republic of China. The same decade, India gained independence from the British. India is one of the first countries to recognize People's Republic of China. Both the newly formed nations maintained brotherlyhood relations with each other until China started to become greedy. Shortly after the establishment of People's Republic of China, the government started to exert its control over Tibet an autonomous region that has its own distinct culture and society. So they wanted to remain autonomous. China didn't like the idea and wanted them to be under China. The Dalai Lama of Tibet rejected it, which made China angry. In the late 1950s, Chinese troops were sent to Tibet to take control of that region, which has been autonomous and independent until that point. As a result, in 1959, Dalai Lama fled from Tibet and took refuge in India. China started to believe that not only it was the fault of India to accept Dalai Lama and Tibet refugees, but also accused India of colluding with US and UK to plan Dalai Lama's escape. From then, the relations between two nations are not brotherly anymore. The first skirmishes took place when India found China building roads in the region where India views as its territory, which led to Sino-Indian War of 1962. The two countries fought a four-week war over the border dispute in which thousands of soldiers died on both sides. China was able to occupy Aksajin, a strategic corridor linking Tibet to West China. The war ended with a ceasefire, confirmation of a de facto boundary known as LAC, Line of Actual Control. As I said, the Line of Actual Control was not demarcated. Since then, there has been numerous conflicts along the borders of the countries. In fact, this now happens to be the longest disputed boundary on the planet. The border can be divided into three main sectors. Western sector, which consists of northwestern Himalayan region, Ladakh. Central sector, this consists of the Doklam Plateau, a territory that intersects China, Bhutan and India. Eastern sector consists of Arunachal Pradesh, which is the eastern territory of India, but the China claims that it is the part of southern Tibet. Several British cartographers draw several lines making the borders. A couple of them are Ada Johnson Line, marking the border in Ladakh, and the McDonald line is another line that marks border in Ladakh. And there is also a McMohan line, which marks the border of Arunachal Pradesh. India and China had a months-long standoff at Bhutan's Doklam region, when the Indian army sent troops to stop China from constructing a road in that area. You may be wondering why did India bother when China is building a road in some region of Bhutan. 
There are a couple of reasons for this. First, Bhutan is an ally of India. The second reason is much more interesting. The Doklam Plateau is strategically significant as it can give China access to Siliguri Corridor or the Chicken Snack, which is a thin strip of land that stretches around the city of Siliguri in West Bengal, connecting India's northeastern states with the rest of the country. If China can get to occupy this thin strip of land, it can easily take over the entire northeastern states. Ladakh confrontation happened between two armies in not one but two places. First is at Galwan River Valley, the other is at Pangong Lake. Let's look at the Pangong Lake first. You may have seen this beautiful lake before in 3 Idiots movie. This is quite a big lake covering 130 kilometers long and 5 kilometers wide. The line of actual control passes through the middle of this lake. If you look at the map, there are finger-like edges to the lake. For the ease of administration, these are called fingers. India claims that LAC lies at finger 8, which makes F1 to F8 under Indian region. But China claims that LAC lies at finger 2. The confrontation happened in this grey area between F2 and F8 when the Chinese troops crossed the fingers 8 and came towards finger 2. The story at Galwan Valley is quite different. The Galwan Valley was an area where both the Indian and Chinese borders are clearly demarcated and both agreed upon the same single line. The hand-to-hand -hand combat took place between the soldiers of the two countries when Chinese troops have violated their own claim. This is a very high mountainous region. The land is pretty uneven and the harsh climatic conditions in this region are not favorable for living or any agriculture, as they have very least economic significance. But why the two big nations are fighting for this small land? Simple, because of its strategic significance. The average elevation of mountains in this region is around 6000 meters, almost the double height where the altitude sickness kicks in. This means any humans in this area has to undergo tedious gradual acclimatization or suffer crippling headaches and nausea and even fatigues. One cannot go directly into this region and fight during the war. The country that gets to control this region has a greater strategic edge during the war as it can place its soldiers in this region who are already habituated to these harsh climatic conditions and doesn't have to go through the altitude sickness, which makes them more efficient and can easily take down the enemy who just came to the region and going through the altitude sickness. Apart from this, there is also another advantage. The soldiers stationed at these huge heights can have a better view of the surroundings and can easily see the enemies coming from the lower regions. Apart from these regions in Ladakh, there is also another region that has a greater strategic significance. The Siliguri Corridor. This is also called the Chicken Snack of India. As I told, this corridor has a huge strategical significance, as this is the small piece of land that is connecting the India's mainland to northeastern states. This is a very small piece of land that is highly susceptible to be attacked by China. China is trying to take advantage of this vulnerable chicken neck of India by building roads and tunnels around this area and trying hard to enter into the northeastern states of India. I'll be making an entire video on this topic. And there is also another video coming up about S-400 missile system. Trust me, it is going to be interesting. So hit that subscribe button to not miss any of these videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button down below the video. That's pretty much it. See you in the next one. Till then, peace.